Hello ladies and gentlemen and fellow farmers and welcome back to another Farming Simulator 2013 video. Where we left off I told you guys that I was getting ready to start investing into some beet harvesting and that's what exactly what I have done for you today. I've got all the equipment that I've been moving to the field. I currently have purchased a few new pieces of equipment to start getting into our beet harvesting because it's going to be a pain to start traveling um, between all the fields with all the tippers and the harvesters and all this other stuff. So I have harvested my fields, sold a bunch of stuff, acquired some money, and purchased um, a couple of tractors, harvesters, a couple of tippers, some of the lower end tractors to pull them, some weights. Um, unfortunately, the cedars that I've got are the lower end cedars for two reasons. One, it was all I can afford, and two, there's only one cedar for doing sugar uh, beets or whatever the heck these things are called, beets. Um, so that's kind of where we're at right now. I have purchased this field right here. If you guys don't uh, remember, this is over here by the end. The end is just over there off to our left. We have our workers currently uh, spreading uh, beets into the ground as we speak. And all I'm doing is, is I've just been slowly moving in the equipment to start getting the beets in process. So we have this guy seeding, that guy seeding right over there. And as you guys can see, this is a very, very large field. Um, this is actually field number seven, I believe. Let's see. Yep, field number seven. Not nearly one of the larger fields, but it is a pretty big field. So we're going to try running some beets and see how this pans out for us. The cedars are going to take a little bit just because, the, well, the seed, as you can see, the, they're just the smaller cedars there. So once these guys are done seeding, um, I'll speed up the time and then we'll start getting into some uh, into some harvesting of the beets. But uh, yeah, this machine here looks very, very similar to the um, to the potato harvester. So we'll kind of see if that's kind of how it runs. If it runs the same, we'll unfold it and take a quick look at it. Let's just get them all set up right here. Make sure that he's all lined up for our harvest here. I'll show you guys quickly the exterior of the machine. So this is the exterior of the beat machine here. He looks like he's riding on two uh, dual track mechanisms underneath the main cab with two large tires in the rear. And it looks like this one's going to transform into a couple of neat little things as well when we get it ready for harvesting. So let's go ahead and fire it on up. Let's pull forward that we can get out of the tree there. And then let's go ahead and unfold it. Okay, we have this back hatch flipping out, another hatch flipping. Oh wow, a couple of uh, conveyors going on here. Okay, that one drops down. Oh, I guess it's flipping back up again. Oh, and the front just lowered down, and there you go. Wow, that's a very, very skinny line to be harvesting beets. Um, and it looks like that's the drop off there. So that's why I had to purchase two more tippers because apparently this guy has to use smaller tippers. It even tells you when you purchase it at the store that it recommends the two smaller trailers because the beet harvester unfortunately has such a small drop radius. So let's get this guy situated right about here. And I also purchased uh, two of these tractors. They were really cheap. I figured I would just try them out and see if they're any good. They can even pull a cultivator, one of the larger cultivators that I purchased. They can even carry a front weight either. So these guys, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with yet. Um, they're nice, strong. They've got a lot of horsepower tractors, uh, but they're just not serving the purpose that I want. So I think for now, I will just reset them until I can figure out what I wanna do with them. Um, let's see, we'll reset our barrel weights here. I bought another two ton weight, so let's get rid of those guys. Just like that. Okay, so uh, as of now, let me tap through this stuff real quick. Eventually we'll get to where we need to be. My stuff is so like messed up right now. Okay, so here's the two trailers I had to buy. They're just the cramp kippers or Cramp A or Cramp Kippers, the Rhino 302s, I believe is what they're called. I just bought two of these. They're really cheap. Um, hey, it's got a wheel chalk underneath. I never noticed that, that the wheels are chalked when you park it. 
But uh, they're the lower-end trailers, but unfortunately they're what I had to buy in order to, to fill from the beet harvester. Um, and then I'll show you guys the two cultivators that I purchased with the two tractors that are going to be pulling it. Um, I had to get the larger, very high-end cultivators because this field, as you can see, is very, very huge. So I had no choice but to purchase the large-end cultivators. And unfortunately, these cultivators are massive. This is a new tractor as well. But these new cultivators are quite large. Let's go ahead and unfold one and kind of show you the spread on one of these cultivators here. So there you go with that. show you real quick so there's the cultivator there these blades all start to spin and drop and then get your soil all nice and tilled up so that way you can go back through and then plant the beets I'm wondering if I uh, because of how large this field is well the cedars aren't doing too bad let's see he's already got a couple of rows done I'm wondering if I shouldn't use those two red tractors and buy two more cedars um, let's see, how much are those sower machines there? Let's see, let's do uh, sales. Oh, <laughs> that old rickety f thing is on sale. I don't want that. All right, let's see, tractors. Let's go to our sewing machines. Let's see, I believe it's these guys, so 58000 I don't have enough to buy two more. I can at least buy one more and then maybe get it over here to kind of help these guys in seeding because, yeah, that's... There's a lot of stuff going on over here, so why don't we do that then? We'll purchase one more of those, and then what we'll do is we'll go to our main farm, which is right here, and I think one of these, maybe we'll put this red guy to work over there, that way he's not just sitting here. There we go. So let's go fire this guy up. Let's go pick up that other seeding machine and let's get that guy started over there at seeding some more of the beets. That way it's not just sitting here and doing us no good since I did waste, what, $100,000 on this thing. So we're going to mosey on over here. And I do believe I placed a pallet for seeds over at the end so we don't have to keep traveling back and forth for seeding as well. I don't recall, but we'll see. We'll see. Oh, gosh. This thing's kind of top heavy, too. Oh, did I miss the store? Nope, it's off here to the right over here. Should be just over this hill. Yep, right there. And these tractors, you can't even put a weight on the front of them, so unfortunately, they just can't quite haul the. They can't even haul the, the bigger cultivators. You would think that this beastly machine would haul the big cultivator, but it was popping wheelies on me, so. Get this guy picked up, just like that. We'll swap it over to beets, not corn, and then we'll drive him through town real quick. And then we'll get this guy working. That way we can speed up our process on getting the beets situated. And also, while I'm cruising over there and getting all this stuff situated, I was just gonna talk to you guys about the future of Farming Simulator 2013. Somebody was asking if I'm going to continue to play this for a long time. Another person was asking me in messages, um, am I close to being done? And he'd like to know if I'm wrapping the series up soon. And to answer both of your questions is, I will probably play a lot of Farming Simulator 2013 more so off recording. And the reason being is because I've, I'm pretty far into the game. I've got a lot of the equipment. I'm, uh, the only thing that I really haven't done was just purchased a lot of the fields. So, in essence, I mean, if you think about it, I mean, the only thing I really haven't done in this game yet is really just kind of purchased a lot of the fields around, you know, all throughout the game. But I've progressed quite far, and somebody was asking me how I progressed so far like how did you get so much money and how did you get all the equipment so fast and well you guys got to understand if you watch my very first episode I'm playing on easy so the equipment costs are a lot less the demands are a lot greater it's it's on easy so that's why I've progressed so much faster than your typical person playing on hard or expert or whatever other you know difficulties that there are um, and I forgot to put seed in this like I just got done saying a minute ago 
Um, so that's kind of what the what the deal is with that. But as far as the future of Farming Simulator 2013, this episode here will be obviously us focusing on beets, and then I think I will probably do one more episode. Uh, so it'll be episode 20 is where I'll probably wrap up the Farming Simulator series because uh, there's really not a whole lot left. So this series here is just pretty much just getting all the equipment established and situated and set up for beets. And then the final episode will be the harvesting of beets and just pretty much just kind of wrapping up the series here. There we go. Now we're close enough to fill it. Because like I said before, there's really not a whole, mu you know, a whole bunch left to do in the game. As far as equipment goes, um, I have pretty much have purchased a lot of everything that I want. Um, I have, the only thing I have not really dove into a whole lot is the whole silage and the straw and that sort of stuff. stuff it, it just really didn't interest me too much. Um, but don't get me wrong, I, I have enjoyed the game and I do believe that episode 20 will be my last Farming Simulator series as far as the videos go. Don't quote me on it, but it's pretty much a, a guaranteed. Um, and then on top of that, uh, somebody was asking if I'm ever going to play with subscribers as far as the farming simulator stuff goes. And yeah, I have no problem playing with you know other people and that sort of stuff. Um, that's probably what I'll end up doing, other than just making videos, is uh, you know just having subscribers you know jump on with me and you know that sort of stuff. But as of right now. Um, this series, like I said, this video here is going to be strictly just exactly what we're doing right now, and that's just getting beets set up. Um, I do need to get over to my fertilizer truck, actually, so let's go get into that. That way we can get that field all, oh, look at that, right to it. That way we can get that field fertilized to increase our yield for our beets, and then I think we'll be all uh, situated on that. So I think what I'm going to do here, guys, is um, now that I've got that you know, all set and situated. I think I'm going to end this episode here. And then uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the series as my next episode 20 of the Farming Simulator 2013 will probably be the last episode to finally conclude our series here. So I hope you guys are enjoying it and I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And we'll see you guys for the grand finale of episode 20 of 2013 Farming Simulator.